they discovered. Oh, this is cool. A fishing pier? Oh, yeah. On. Pop. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, this is a nice little, uh, little town. Warwick's farm discovered. Hi, Warwick. Any luck with the vermin? Uh, don't remind me. Other... Your leash is good, Will. I have some papers from you from the Golden Sickle. Ah, excellent. Many thanks, my sir. Uh, tell Gunnar that I delivered the package. Okay. Ooh. How about that? Anything straight? I found some stuff. Trade. Huh. Well, yes. I guess it depends on what you need. I want to sell you as much stuff as possible because I can't carry it all. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that'll do. That'll have to do. Can't be serious. I need to go back up to the Myra Tower to... Uh... Actually, Ark is literally just there. Why the fuck didn't we just walk here in the first place? Like, Ark is literally across the fucking road. And we travelled by Myrid. We spent 25 gold to travel a few hundred metres. Fucking brilliant. Huh, that's my gold now. I don't think these boats have anything on them, to be fair. Right, those carrots you can't take. We do need to go visit our merchant by the time we might be a, a bit close. Because we need to visit the merchant before nightfall. We might be uh, pushing it a bit close on the timing. I think we can make it. Hopefully. Swim! In before something uh, shoots me or kills me. It's like a shark or something. We travel quite fast by swimming. I didn't think we traveled that fast by swimming, to be fair. Oh well. More you know. It might be faster. It might have been faster to actually travel like this across the lake over there than it was by boat. There we go, perfect. Okay, the quest for Max, I'm going to leave for the time being. So, find Max to bl uh... Monsieur? Find Max. And we'll go back to sleep tonight. And hopefully the, the, uh... The next part of the main... The meeting is going to be fed, uh, prepared for us. Hopefully the meeting is prepared for us. But let's go sell all of our wares. And get the coin. Sorry that Skyrim but. The same rule applies basically. Khajiit has many wares. Issue has the coin. 
Hear my words, O pathabiding people of this holy city. Many of yeah. you may have heard it all. Nah, I just put There's them out for you to look at. Okay, I want to Tell sell you, you basket, basket, basket. Oh shit, he doesn't have any money. A fuck. Huh? Can I help you? You don't have any money. Hungry for our May your path always be. Easy. This is Forge. Hello. The Forge work will um buy the armor and stuff for us. Promise. Hopefully. Hammers, daggers. Hmm? Warren Yerim. Warren Killy. Looking for steel. I can provide. Everything wrong for the path abiding soldier. Uh, you can have the arrows, sir. You can have the shield, the protectors. Literally everything that I'm wearing, basically. Oh, you can have the a fingersmith. Shot. That one. Don't really care about a life potion. Perfect. There you go. Oh, maybe. Everything maybe you could. Path, maybe you're gonna buy soldier. some of my other shit. Yes. I've been holding on to this for God knows how long. Come again. I feel so much lighter already. I do want to see if he's got any more elementalism books. Hello. Um, I'm not sure though. Leather goods, tailoring. I don't think we've got any more outfits, do we? That's all. No, we don't have any of that. We just got a lot of random shit that I need to sell to a proper merchant, but I guess we'll go speak to um, the Golden Sickle. Monsieur? Golden Sickle. No, the golden sickle is in fucking uh, marketplace, isn't it? I keep going the wrong way. Mhm. Mm I keep thinking the golden sickle is in the seven quarter. No, it's not. It's in the marketplace. It's right by our house. Like I don't know how I keep missing it. What? what do you sell? Well, a bit of everything. I'm Just going to sell you yourself. as much of this shit as possible. No, no, I don't sell my lockpicks. You can have everything else apart from my lockpicks, sir. Okay, travel, a diary of a miner. Bell tome, grounding. And the... I think that's it. I think that's all I want to uh, sell to you. Let's see. Doria said you're honest and not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, that means something. Gunham doesn't know who you are. You should go introduce yourself to him. He might have a job for you. Old Rogash said you're a path abiding soul. And he's one of the eldest workers here. So congratulations. Well, that's not enough yet. Go see if any others have work for you. <sighs> okay, I think I've got to go speak oh, to him first before hmm? he will, uh... Huh? Ellie's good as I got your papers. Do I have your yes, recommendation? You Thanks for help. I absolutely shat my pants then. I was like, why is he singing the... Why was the Skyrim music in the game? Like, what the fuck is going huh? on here? Like, holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. Uh, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, recommendations. Let's see. Doria said you're honest and not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, that means something. Well, Gunham said you're all right. <laughs> I suppose that's as much of a compliment as you can get from him. 
Old Rogash said you're a path-abiding soul, and he's one of the eldest workers here, so congratulations. That's an impressive result. You seem to be reliable, and we always have use for reliable people. I'm sure you but do. still, we can use you. You can start as soon as you want to. Completed a foot in the door. I'm now a member of the Golden Sickle? <laughs> Why, of course. But tomorrow you can move into the guild's house and Al Deloren will come to wash your feet. <laughs> I like you, you know that? You're still so green and honest. That's a rare sight in this trade. So you have to be a merchant to become a real member of the guild. If you're after the badge, yes. But you don't seem like the merchant type to me. Well, that's not a problem, however. With the right attitude, maybe you could reach the rank of vassal, or even protector. But that's a long way up. What does the uh, vassal do, exa do exactly, or protector? To guard the holy dealings of the sickle, of course. But only a fool would send a caravan through the powder desert without a proper escort. And reliable mercenaries are as rare as a talking Lyran. But that's what vassals and protectors are for. But let's not get carried away, shall we? If you're really planning to get hired as a vassal, you'll need to do more than run a few errands. Okay, I'm ready for work. What can I do? Well, aren't you eager? <laughs> but it's your lucky day. There is something. But be warned, you'll have to earn your money this time. That's what I'm here for. What do you need? Well, that'll need a bit of explaining first. As you may already know, a good merchant doesn't depend only on himself, but also on his suppliers. Mm -hmm. well, the best skinners, nothing without fur. The best bakers, nothing without flour. And that is the problem. Helga Hafner is a farmer who's been producing grain for the sickle for ten years now. Since two moons ago, however, his fields lie fallow. Why, well, so you want me to find a reason for this, right? Right. But I need someone who can do it discreetly, which makes you the perfect fit for this task. Mm -hmm. Hafner doesn't know you, and he must not find out that we sent you. Wait, why? Because we suspect that his fields will stay barren permanently, whatever's causing it. He denies it, but we have to know. And that is your job. Handle it properly, and it won't be to your disadvantage. So, what if Hannah's fields stay barren? What will you do? Kill the contract, of course. A farmer who doesn't deliver is of no worth to us. Wow. That makes sense? It does, unfortunately. Alright, I'll find out what's causing this barrenness. That's what I wanted to hear. Do you have a map? Now here, that's where you'll find his farm. And again, stay low. I will do, sir. Long way to the top. Vill uh, f visit Helgen's Farm and the Farmer's Coast. I think we've just been there. Can we just be go there to drop off a package or... Oh, the quest isn't marked. I was like, can we just go there? No. It's on the other side. Side, Okay. That makes more sense. But, I think it's time that we continue on with the main storyline. <laughs> Alright. I just get shit up by any sort of notification. It's like, what the fuck is going on? It's because I have them on, on stream. The notifications are not that loud. But in my headphones, they are so fucking loud. It's my own fault. Right, let us affix the map quickly, shall we? Control, toggle, let's do always, always, always. Mod configuration. Control, toggle, toggle, toggle. Boring. No, that's got to be off. Oh, fuck. They 
There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> fixed. Now we got a fully immersive hood. Okay, let's go through the army barracks, I guess. Oh, no, we're going in through the noble quarters. That's all good. I didn't even see you say, would you like a sat-nav? Greetings. What was that for? What? Oh, because Ark is a maze. I have technically got a sat-nav at top, but I choose to have it switched off. You are fucking weird, sir. I'm guessing we've got to go to the Sun Temple? I'm guessing it's the Sun Temple. I can't imagine Tealor a ramp fuel being down in the city somewhere. Now he is up in the temple. Okay, let's see what Tilor Aramfuel wants next. We have Sister, plan? got the plans for the machine. We have got the sigil stones. We have got a crazy. The fabled. We've got a crazy witch woman who is. It kind of likes us. It's very strange. It's a very strange time. The past uh, hour or so. This is too dangerous. Whatever they want here. If we send spies and they get caught, Nerim will see this as a provocation. Poor, poor people. All they did was invade a foreign country. And look how ruthless we are, sending spies in order to find out why they're here. We should be... Save the sarcasm. We both know what I mean. You know my opinion, Teela. I will consider it. You come at the right time, Prophet. Commander, explain the situation. Of course, Grandmaster. Yesterday, we received word from one of our outposts in Duneville. One of the fishermen there saw warships anchoring on an island some miles from shore. And they bear the Niramese flag. We have already sent scouts to confirm this, and it is true. The Nerimis have invaded our land. But this is not war. Why would they do this? We have a suspicion. I suppose you know that the civil war in Nerim has ended two months ago. And who won it? I don't know. Who? The combined forces of the Northern and the Middle Realm, led by Taranor Korek of Kavait. The southern rebels and the remnants of the Creator's Temple have been destroyed, once and for all. Now Nerim has been united under the banner of the free people of Nerim, how they like to call themselves. And this could be the reason for these warships. But why? Why should Nerim risk another war after just ended one? Because of this Koarek. It is said that he helped Narathzul Arantheel shortly before the Lightborn were slain. And while before that, he was an opportunist who changed his ideals as often as his underpants, it seems that his crusade with Narathzul converted him, so to speak. He has become a declared enemy of religion. He also thinks of the death of the gods as the first step of many. And now he sees it his task to rid Vin of religion once and for all. Free the world from the scourge of faith. These are his words. 
Though it is worth mentioning that his understanding of freeing includes mass executions and the burning down of temples. He's a fanatic, and worse, his men worship him for it. What he wants is to found a new world, and his free people of Nerim are supposed to be vanguard of it. Isn't this pretty much the same thing your order wants to add for a free, a world free of religious thinking? Well, with the small but subtle difference that it was Narazul's vision to restore the human right of self-determination, and not to obliterate every kind of superstition or spirituality. Got a fair He's point there. It's stupid to believe a way of thinking can be beaten out of someone's head with just enough violence. The only thing that does is radicalize. Though a world without religion would be a better one, that's without doubt. Nonsense. The people need a higher power that guides them. You can see what chaos the death of the Lightborn brought on the world, and without your orders doing, all this would never have happened. Of course. Where were we? What else can you, uh, is there to know about Tanthor Korek? Not much. Or, yes there is. He's a narcissist. I was surprised to hear that the banners of his free people aren't ornamented with a picture of his and an inscription saying, Praise me. And let me guess, you expect that Cold Creek is here to, because the Andralians still believe the gods are alive, correct? Correct. What Korik doesn't understand is that we're doing this to prevent a crisis. And simply telling the common people the truth is out of the question. Not before the High Ones have been stopped. The civil war on Kile, Nerim, and Arazial shows what chaos such a revelation can cause. And we will not take this risk. And, it, and what if we explain our motivations, Korak? Maybe he can help us fight the cycle. That is the problem. Pigast? We believe that Korak already knows about the cycle and the cleansing. And that he, how should I put it, wants it to happen. He wants it to happen. How the heck can someone want the extension of all life to happen? Well, I know how strange this sounds, but in a way it makes sense. For him, Enderal as the home of the Holy Order is the epitome of ignorance and stagnation. And we suppose he even knows that we are fighting these high ones. But in his eyes, everything a paragon of the old order tries to prevent from happening must be something good. Maybe he even sees the high ones as prophets of his new era. Who knows? Fanatics are unpredictable. You've got a fair point now, there. This is only an assumption, but we have to know. In other words, we need to spy on the Nerimanese. Yes. Do you know what a silver plate is? Uh, a plate made of silver? <sighs> the ones I'm talking about are more. They are relics from Arctvent. What makes them unique is their power to transfer sound. Every plate has a counterpart, and if someone standing near one plate says something, the one standing near the other one hears it too. Our plan is to place two of the plates in their camp. That way we can sound them out without risk. And you want me to do this placing, don't you? You, Firespark, and the mercenary, Dalvarek. However, you cannot travel to the island by ship. That would be too conspicuous. We found out that the Pyreans had some kind of underground transporting system. Under trains, that's what they called them. Of course they did. These trains connected the most important regions of the realm with each other, and thus probably also the temple on the island where Korax ships set anchor. If we can manage to find one of these trains, we could use them to get right to his camp. And, as it happens, we have information about a Pyrean temple in the Crystal Forest. One that is still intact enough for us to find a way into one of these trains. The of course. Temple. That's how you call it, yes. But enough of the chit-chat. First of all, we need to find the gem that is used to open the gate of the temple. And I have a guess where we could find it. A village called Fogville. Not far from the Whisperwood. Good. When do we set out? As soon as possible. 
Joseph the mercenary has already traveled to Fogville, and you should do the same. I will meet you there. So we are talking about accomplished facts, or what? It is the only way. I'm sorry, Natara. Prophet, I'm counting on you. Find out why Kuarek is here. Will do, Tilo. Prophet, 